so in this video I want to talk about photographs of the narcissist photos of the narcissist that you take like pictures photos that you take with the narcissist when you were in love with them and stuff like that and pictures of them that you have pictures of you and them together that you have that's what I want to talk about um, so for example um, my ex-wife the narcissist woman that I was married to I was telling her yesterday that I will start shredding or cutting into pieces with a clipper our photographs the photographs that is me and her together because those photographs show love that is keeping the memory or the memory of you and the narcissist and I don't want to keep any memories of a narcissist I want to destroy all the memories between me and the narcissist because when you keep the uh, memories and stuff like that they will hover you back and they will never go but anyway if you even shred the photographs whether you shred them or not and a narcissist will never leave they will always they will be always there like after you they will always wait that you come back or maybe they will come back whenever they want to come back in the future they will come back after 20 years if they want these people are crazy I watched videos on YouTube which are talking about some people narcissist left them and come back after 25 years and still bothering them and I said oh my god I don't want this to happen to me you know it's a really tough deal and I wanted to shred all the memories that I got with the narcissist so I told my narcissist ex-wife yesterday that I'm gonna start cutting by clipper into pieces the photographs of her I have photographs of her only several photographs of her only because she is my ex-wife and we are fighting for a decade for 10 years so there was time that we were loving each other and love bombing and all of that so I have several photographs of her and I have several photographs of me and her together and uh, I told her I'm gonna destroy all the photographs of her and I'm gonna destroy all the photographs of me and her together because I don't want those memories to be alive I want them to be dead and gone and out of my life and but I have few photographs of her and my son and my son and her their relationship is different it's a mother and son thing narcissists are way mean to the person that they are married to some of them they are not that hard on their children I have been raised by a narcissist and it wasn't that hard really but when I get married to a narcissist it's so hard it's so miserable and the narcissist that raised me too it was hard but this one is harder when you get married to a narcissist that is the worst way to deal with a narcissist because you are having babies with this person sleeping with them having sex with them all kinds of stuff you are very close you are so involved with each other but I don't want to be involved with her and that's why I'm cutting the photographs into pieces so I'm going to shred and cut into pieces the photographs of her and the photo photographs of me and her together but I'm gonna keep the photographs of her and my son because it's a mother and son relationship 
that's okay. I'm going to keep those photographs for my son. I'm going to give it to him and say, this is your mother and you, and that's it. But I don't want to be involved with the narcissist. I want to save myself and heal myself and get away from this narcissist. So if there's, a, but when I told this narcissist yesterday that I'm going to be shredding or cutting into pieces these photos, it really hurts the narcissist. It really damages the narcissist the first time. Then after that, she starts ignoring it and all that and, and trying to say, first she said, send them to me or keep at least five of them for me and stuff. And I said, never, I will cut them into pieces. I'm never going to give them to you because narcissists, they love keeping photographs and they really do this narcissist she begs me every day to send her my photos and i don't so i i told her i'm gonna cut our memory into pieces and get rid of it and that's one way to damage the narcissist and to heal yourself and that's one way to destroy the memory that you have with them it's one way of showing that you have no respect for the relationship anymore and you don't want the relationship anymore. You, you will never need it and you want boundaries. You will be acting like you, know, you don't know them anymore because you are cutting the photographs into pieces and I'm not taking any other new photographs with her, no maybe with me and my son and her so he can keep it as a memory and say this is my family in the future even though it's not worth it it's it's not going to be a good family if the woman is a narcissist it's going to be a messed up family if the man is a narcissist it's going to be a messed up family if there's a one person in there that's a narcissist it's gonna mess the whole family up that's how miserable they are but anyway I want to shred all those photographs and if there's other people out there and if they watch these videos this is one idea to keep the narcissist out of your life no new photographs with them and the ones that already exist delete them and if there are papers I have so many um, uh, photographs like real photographs not in my phone but the ones I have in my phone too I deleted them I want to delete all the history that I have with a narcissist I don't want to remember it I want to heal myself that's one way to heal yourself and it creates boundary with you with you between you and the narcissist it's it just really feels good to delete and burn everything you have with a narcissist why keep it so that's one idea to damage them because I find out yesterday when I told her it really she said oh I want to keep them no I said no I want to cut them down and I will when I get time so you guys too can do that and thank you for listening